Hi, I'm Kevin Yoder with Yoder Racing. Um, we're here in my barn shop in uh, Grass Valley, California, and I'm here with my uh, co-pilot Trevor. He is the uh, owner of WFO Fabrication, and um, we're getting ready for the KOH race. It's a race we do every year. We've done every year since the deception. We did miss the invite only dirty dozen year, but I have not missed a start since. It is the focal point of the year. We put a lot of effort into it. I started racing uh, back in high school in a CJ5 that we built in, a, in, the bar, in another barn, my dad's barn. And um, I've raced every year since. We've competed in the, uh, started in rock crawling on a professional level and I have not missed a year since. So whether it's been rock crawling, rock racing, we've raced Pikes Peak, we've gone back to race Crandon, Wisconsin. And uh, racing's been a huge part of my life. Lots of people to thank along the way. I have unbelievable friends and support to keep me in it. I have shops like WFO that have, without them, I would not be at the level I am. Um, Pitbull Tires has helped me in the last 10 years or so, and it's, uh, that's been a great partnership. So as we uh, get the car race ready for the 2019 KOH, we had a couple problems last year with fuel issues, and we've changed that. We've changed the whole system, and this year I'm all out. We did spend the money and put a whole new system in. And um, I mean, this year he even put new gear oil in the differentials. It's not the reused or repurposed gear oil. Cleaned out the radiator, um, really going over stuff that never really gets looked at. And uh, it's always a, a good running fast car. It's got 42s, can't lose on 42s. So I've been riding with Kevin for probably four or five years on and off as his co-driver. And uh, we don't do a lot of pre-running. So when we get in the car, it's always a fresh start leaving the finish or leaving the start line. You know, how do you run the GPS? Where do you zoom in? Are we lost? But sometimes he does have some interesting things in the car. I can guarantee you there's always a can of chew in this race car. Uh, no matter what, that thing's there ready to go. He likes to tape all of his, his uh, protein bars to the ceiling. Um, I mean, what, what are we doing when we're out there racing? A lot of times we're just talking about home and what's going on back at the house. It's, it's not as intense as you would think. We have a good time. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Um, it, when, when, you, uh, when you know you're having a good time is when you're not thinking about what you have to do next. Everything's just flowing. So where you have a bad time is when we become mechanics, and that's, that's when things get a little bit sour in the car and doesn't, not quite as a conversation, not quite as polite, but um, it's still a good time even, overall. Even though, you know, stuff is always going to break down, but even those times when we're pissed off, there's always some fun times that happen. I mean, last year he pulled the fuel pump cover off and happened to see the back side of it, and it was a repurposed uh, railroad sign that definitely might not have supposed to be on there. And then another time, the high lift jack would not work, and I look over, and he's about 15 feet away from the car with his pants down, peeing on the high lift jack, sticks it up on the rock, works perfect. Change the tire, off we went. So Kevin, what do you think our goal is for this year's King of the Hammers? This year at King of the Hammers, we're gonna have a good race. I mean, I wanna be able to finish this race in the daylight and, and just feel real good about what we did. Put everything out there and give it all we can. Basically the best what this car can give us with no mechanical failures, and if we do have mechanical failures, overcome them, keep going, finish the race. Right. I don't want us to turn into mechanics on the race course. I want us to get out there, race hard, finish strong. That sounds like a good idea to me.